Hey guys, um, I'm back with another video. Um, so today I wanted to talk about one of my like one of my favorite stories that uh, kind of first helped me fall in love with like this Irish uh, myths and legends. Um, it's called Maka and the the Curse of the Ulsterman. Um, Maka, she's basically like a kind of like this otherworldly creature that just comes out of the forest one day and she goes and lives with this man um, his name's like Kron Kronku or something Kronchu uh, anyway she she just goes and lives in his house and starts cooking and cleaning um, and kind of becomes a feature in his house so um, the thing Maka can do that's amazing is that she can outrun horses. So her husband um, goes to town and he's bragging to the men in town about his his woman and he's like, oh yeah, she can outrun the horses even though he's not supposed to tell anyone because uh, obviously bad things just can happen um, from when people don't understand, they just want to destroy, it seems like. So, um, these men go and track her down and tie up her husband, and uh, they make her run the horses, outrun the horses, and she can do it, of course, but she ends up dying, giving labor at the end, um, because she's pregnant with twins. So, these, uh, these Ulster men, um, as they're watching her die, she curses them and tells them, uh, I hope you have labor pains in the height of battle. So that curse carries on, um, through the generations, as in, it's in the, the next stories, um, the cattle raid of Cooley, where Cacolin, like the hero, um, fights Me Queen Meb's army, but uh, he has to do it alone because all the Ulstermen are out with a disability, or Maka's curse, uh, so that's kind of interesting how the tales play into each other, but um, yeah, I think, I think a lot of people uh, misunderstand Maka and think she's just some prostitute who went and lived with a random guy, but for me, I think she's like a kind of a badass, really. Um, uh, just shows like how women are thought to only be good in the domestic sphere, but I like how the story kind of reverses that. And uh, maybe if women were given more of a place among the men in the town and the council, um, we could use our like badass intuitive qualities, magical qualities, um, to make things better. So yeah, um, Maka is my hero, my personal hero. Um, yeah, a little bit about myself. Um, I got, I ended up getting both jobs, so I'm going to be working in a kitchen as kind of like a New England fair type food. And I'm also working at the cinema, so I, uh, I'm, I've been liking that. My coworkers are really nice, and it's kind of like a group of misfits, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm really poor right now, but I've been finding things on the street. Like, I found a fan, and I found, found a can of paint, so I think I'm going to paint some of these walls. Uh, I like purple, but it's just kind of a lot of purple. Um, so I hope that looks good. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is I think I I think I might have a complex that I just want to prove people wrong because um, like with the Irish myth class, our instructor said, uh, when we first started, like at the beginning of class, he's like, no one is ever going to probably pursue this any further, um, studying these Irish myths, the Book of Kills, 
you know, all these things. Um, but, like, I have. <laughs> so, I don't know. Part of me thinks I just want to prove them wrong. But I also just love the stories. Um, and also, I kind of went out with this weird person and he said I couldn't be a model. But I've always kind of been curious to try it. And before I, I lived in Montana, so it wasn't really, you know, a big thing out there. But, um, I think I'm going to try it out here, um, just see how it goes. Yeah, so hopefully I can get some good shots to put on my thumbnails. Um, yeah, and I just, I hope you guys try things that people tell you you can't do because, I don't know, it's just fun and interesting and who gives a shit what anyone thinks. Um, love you guys. Bye.